Add two cups of plain flour to a bowl. Add a teaspoon of curry powder and a tablespoon of some oil and a big heaped tablespoon of some soft margarine. And then using your hands, you're gonna crumble this together like so. And then you're gonna gradually add some water and knead together with your hands into a ball. Add a little by time so that you don't add too much and ruin your pastry. I added roughly about a quarter cup of water to mine. Then once you have your ball, you're going to cover with some cling film and leave to chill in the fridge for about 20 minutes. Now for your filling, you're going to crush four cloves of fresh garlic. You're also going to chop four small spring onions and you're going to dice one whole onion. I only had red at the time, usually I'd use the white onion. And now add four tablespoons of some oil to a pan on a medium heat. Allow to get hot before adding in your onion and your spring onion. Stir for three minutes in total, just so that it softens. And then add in your garlic and fry for another two minutes so that all is combined and the flavors start to be released. And then add in your one pack of minced beef. Break up with your hands so that you don't end up with big chunks of beef. Break up with your spoon once in the pan some more and then cook until nice and brown. Now add in a tablespoon of some fresh or dry thyme and a tablespoon of some all-purpose seasoning and a tablespoon of paprika and some salt and black pepper to taste. And then crumble in one beef stock cube. Stir well and cook for about five minutes. And then to this add a tablespoon of some tomato ketchup and stir well. And cook this for about 10 minutes and then add in a scotch bonnet pepper and cook for a further five minutes. And then add your meat to a sieve and drain excess oil and allow your meat to cool. Meanwhile, cut your dough into four and then crack one egg into a bowl and add a teaspoon of cold water mixed together. and then press down on your dough and roll out. Should be enough to place a bowl over on the top of it. Use a knife to cut around the bowl to make a template. And then spoon in some of your minced meat onto your dough. Be careful not to overfill, otherwise it will split. And then brush your egg wash around the edges of your dough so this helps it to seal. And then using your hands, fold together and press down on the edges. And then get a fork and press and seal like so. And then pierce with your fork in the center four times. And then brush a little more egg wash over the top of your patty and then place on the baking tray on gas mark 5 and cook for about 25 minutes. And there you have it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. <laughs>